How's everyone doing today? It's Game Aside, the seventh best game reviewer on YouTube because my mom demoted me last night. How's everyone doing? We have Super Dungeon Bros, a dungeon crawling top down hack and slash game going through procedurally generated dungeons and killing a bunch of enemies. But this time, it's not so hot. Fine. On this quest, you will forge epic weapons. Yeah. This is a pretty typical hack and slash dungeon crawler and except for going through dungeons they just call them depths and after you go through five you go to a different looking area that's procedurally generated for the most part but most of the areas look very much the same if you die and you know do this over again not much really changes and you know you have your basic and heavy attacks and also what you just saw there your ultimate that you can use only twice in the whole time. After slashing a crap ton of pots and chests and opening up the big golden chests that give you gold, you can use this gold to upgrade weapons at the end of depths. At the end of these depths, you can upgrade your weapons like increasing stamina or heavy attack damage or making your ultimate stronger. And these are kind of cool going throughout the levels. In the middle of some of these depths, you'll find health stations where you can refill some of your lives for 500 gold each or refill all of your health and things of that nature. Uh, this is kind of useful, but most of the time you don't want to use these so you can buy upgrades later or when you actually really need it. After some of these depths, you'll have presents which will grant you stones and gems for purchasing items. With these gems and stones, you can buy some cosmetic things like helmets to make you look crazy or soundtracks, yeah, actual soundtracks that play in the game if you don't like the original music it gives you, but hey, don't get those first, just get the weapons and they do different uh, damage, defense, and utility and whether you like melee or ranged, there's at least something there for you. And so of course you can play by yourself, but where this game really needs to shine is of course it's online multiplayer, which is really its big selling point here. I mean, we all want to play with our friends and hack and slash, but the problem, online fucking sucks. It does not work whatsoever and you lag out of almost every single game. And then it has the audacity to say you got ditched, but no, everyone lagged out from the shitty servers. Yeah, yeah, it wouldn't be such a problem if it did it once, or even twice, or five times. But what about 20, 30, 40? Every time I play online with my friends, anyone, not just my friends, just any random old folk around the town want to play some Super Dungeon Bros, but can't because it's garbage. I don't even care if you have Google Fiber. It blows! But game aside, don't judge the game yet. You're not even to the other areas. I would love to go to the other areas, but it doesn't matter what depth I'm on. It says, hey, game aside, I hate you, and just lags all of us out. It doesn't matter how good we're doing. No, it just needs to lag all of us. Throw us off edges. Get rid of our gun. Take our legs off. Take our families. Eat all our food in our fridge. Take my tuition that I worked hard for. Super Dungeon Bros. Oh. And this game was going to be $20. Oh boy, would I have a field day if this was $20. There's going to be letters going to Microsoft. There's going to be letters going to the creators of this game who didn't respond to me in the first place six months ago. I could have helped you guys out, man. But look at this. Your one point doesn't work. Single player barely works. Too many enemies on the map. I freeze all the time. You say you're fixing it, but... And I mean, honestly, what's a big slap in the ween ween is the loading times! If the game's gonna be just awful everywhere, at least make the loading times quick! They can be 30 seconds to like 4 minutes! 4 minutes?! I can make waffles in that time! Well, granted they're in the microwave and microwave waffles aren't good as Granny's waffles because she does that extra stove stuff and that cool trick that I never learned, but hey, waffles! I mean, my best friend told me about this game, and we were both pretty excited for this title, and told him it was how he played it, you know, it wasn't too bad at first, until we decided to, you know, play online with each other, but I was gonna take anything away from this, so, I mean, the graphics are pretty good, and I'd love to play the different areas if the game worked at all, but with all of these frustrating problems, and it's just ridiculous that I even got released in the first place, 3.5 out of 10!